First couple things I like to consider when helping you choose the proper electric fan for your application is the body style of the vehicle. If we're working with a C3 Corvette with a narrow grill opening, or if we're working with a 1940 Buick with a big wide grill opening. The 40 Buick's gonna see a lot of natural ram air where the Corvette's not gonna see a lot of natural air flow for cooling effect. Next thing I like to consider is the core dimension of the radiator only, just the finned part. That'll tell me if we're working with a single, a single fan or if we can move up to a dual shrouded unit. The next thing I like to consider is the overall engine transmission and rear end gear of the package we're working with. If we're dealing with a mild street motor or a crate motor type application in a, in a cruiser, then it's not going to create as much heat and require as much CFM, cubic feet per minute of airflow, to keep things cool. If we're dealing with a true high performance application, something that has a bunch of compression and camshaft in it and a high rear end gear, that's obviously going to require more CFM or airflow to keep things cool. So the most important thing we can do is match the CFM of the fan to the performance level of the vehicle. The next thing I like to consider is your charging system. Is your battery and alternator up to snuff to power an electric fan? Electric fans can draw anywhere between 15 to 28 amps. That's a lot of amperage for your charging system to handle. So you always want to check the spec sheet to make sure your charging system can handle the amperage of the fan you're choosing. When choosing between a pusher fan and a puller fan, it depends on the customer and their application. There's a lot of purists out there that don't want to necessarily remove the mechanical fan off of their vehicle, and they still may be having some heating problems, so at that point in time, a pusher fan is the only solution. I don't recommend pusher fans because they have to go on the front side of the radiator and that can obstruct natural airflow, and we don't want to do that. We want the radiator to see as much natural airflow as it possibly can. Going to a puller style fan, that is the best way to go in my opinion because it goes on the back side of the radiator and it's constantly pulling the air through the radiator. Shrouding versus non-shrouding. Well, I've sold many 16 inch fans such as this. People have put them on without a shroud and it's worked just fine. There are some stubborn cases where you may have to fabricate your own shroud to use a, utilize a fan like this. If that's not for you, we can look at going to a dual shrouded unit if it'll fit. The fans are actually encased in their own shroud, so it'll keep the airflow nice and focused. Hopefully the information we just gave you will help you choose the proper Maradine High Performance Fan for your application. But if you need more assistance or more information, you can go on to our website at www.maradinehp.com or you can call us on the 1-800 number for personal assistance.